Hey everybody, welcome back to GDPG, and guess what? We're finally doing it. We're playing Five Nights at Freddy's. I, I, oh man. The first one, though. We're, start, we're starting small. I think they probably starting get... small? I think they probably get scarier as they go on, right? That's, I, if I were to design the series, I would have done it that way. Okay. So as promised, Cujo is going to be the one driving this I one. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. Okay. Let's, let's jump into this. So, Kujo, you've never played Five Nights I at Freddy's. I have never played. I've watched Five Nights at Freddy's be played, mm, but okay. beyond that... Yeah, and the audio might be a little weird because we turned up the TV since it's a horror game. We kind of need the, the audio higher the so that it can scare Kujo. We wanted to do this with the, the lights off, but there's no night vision on the uh, camera. Yeah, okay. unfortunately. Is it just auto answer? Yeah, yeah, you don't okay. have to worry about this. It's weird. Um, you see that little like graphical the streak. Yeah. I was trying to figure out what that was because, to me, that that's like we're looking through a lens. You know, like it's through a camera. There it is. Oh, we can mute the call. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it. I'll turn it down a little bit. Um, yeah, the graphics of the of this game are are originally what um kind of piqued my interest on. about it. Because I think this is all just a, all just two D images for the most part, right? I don't think it's actually using um, in game three D art. It might be like rendered three D art into two D images, kind of like what they did in traditional like Donkey Kong Country, you know? Like, I mean, poop. Keep in mind, you're consuming battery power the longer you're staying on the camera. So you have to like manage your power levels. And you can tell how much you're using based on that usage meter. So no matter what, you're always going to uh, use one bar. Tangible's calling you. Is he? Yeah. That's too bad. It's it's he get he sensed. He sensed the FNAF happening. What's today? Sunday? Yes. Yeah, he's not streaming Arcane Duels. Eh, what else? <laughs> can I? Does this have poison in it? Can I just end it myself? Can we just do this? <laughs> That'd be kind of. <laughs> That's it, guys. Really game Dead played. Be a really strange mechanic. I feel like that'd be more be appropriate for some of the later ones. So one of the one of the things. So okay, for a while, FNAF to me was like, what the hell? Why? Why? I think that's your cue that things are going to start happening. That's one of those things, though. So okay, I don't know how much you know about the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's. Not much. Um, one of my favorite series on YouTube right now is the um, the Game Theorists. Um, they they have like maybe seven or eight videos on on Five Nights at Freddy's and they're fascinating. Mm. Um, before I watched those videos, I was more or less indifferent about Five Nights at Freddy's. I was like, well, the mechanics aren't that exciting, and I actually think that for the most part they tend to be kind of boring until you get into the later levels because there's a lot of sitting and waiting and just kind of watching stuff. Um, and then it's those key moments that make the game good. It's it's when you're you know actually panicking. Um, then I watched the series that the game theorists put out, and they made the game. If if the game theorists are right about any of their theories, it makes this whole universe um, that these games are in just absolutely um, interesting and, and fantastic. Mm. So I wonder if I don't remember if I've I've heard whether or not the the developer um, added stuff in the earlier games to make some of those plot points more present. Mm. Um, so that screen flicker with oh your cameras are out. There's okay. So one guy is definitely out and about. Oh oh no! Why why are the cameras out? Go to cam three. Cam three. Cam three. Two? Two. Which two one? Two A. Go to two B. Okay, you should be okay so far. I think the first night only one guy is out on the loose. Ah. Uh, oh, maybe not for the oh. whole night. So it's the bunny, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Why am I doing this myself? Why am I doing this to myself, Chris? I hate you. <laughs> okay, all right, it's fine. I gotta say though, this what game really what does. What is that? What is that? I hear the fan. 
You're okay. Oh, uh, maybe that's just like the... Yeah, I think that's just the camera making that buzzy noise. Okay, yeah, Bunny's still He's there. Still there. So we know there's three, three bots. I think that's... I might be wrong. I think the first game only really has the three bots. Maybe it has a, a fourth one that kind of appears. Okay. Alright, just everybody hang out. It's cool. It's cool, right? See, you're hanging out. You're, you're already at 3 a.m. I yeah. think it ends at, what, 6 a.m.? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so you're See, it's fine. it's fine. You know what? It's you fine. just hang out there, and it's, I'm just gonna hang out here. It's no big See, deal. See, it's cool. It's not that bad. And you have more than half of your battery yeah, power we're, left. we're good. You're doing all right. Yeah. The yeah, game definitely fine. does start things off a lot easier, which... See, you're just hanging out. ...gives you a chance to kind of figure out how I'm this just, whole thing works. No, 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 now, now scope out the... Okay, Shh. chicken's on the loose. Now you gotta find the bunny. Check uh, 2B. Check... Oh, check 4B. Oh. Check the light. Check the light. Okay, check the other one. Okay. I hear music. I don't think the music is a bad sign. I don't... Or maybe it is. I don't know. Do they play music? Keep in mind, while the door is closed, you're consuming a yeah, lot of power. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. I have noticed, though, that when they am. come up to the door... Before I am, I'm before I am. When I'm they come up to the... Okay, oh. there's there's the... Bunny? Maybe the bunny. Now nah, he's still far enough away. You're worrying about nothing. Oh, I hear it moving. Check the... Yeah, check the right. Check that light. Oh. oh, hi, Freddy. Nah, that's not Freddy. That's the bunny. Oh, check I that thought... light. Check the light on the left. Oh. Okay, so he must be there. Uh, okay. I've noticed that they stay in front of the door for surprisingly long times. Oh, he's gone. You think so? Oh, there's, there's chicken. Oh, you're gonna run out of power if you do that. Okay, yeah, that guy's gone. So what right now is making you the most scared? The uh, the fact that I can't I, I there's so much there's so much to keep in, in mind and control. Okay, the chicken uh, is far away. I think you're okay. I think you can open that door. There's turn there's on, so much. Light. Just to make sure. Yeah, there you go. You're fine. It, it, so is it just the fact that there's a lot to manage, or is it sort of that like absolute it's, it's also deadness? The, it's the absolute deadness and then the periodic like music that you hear oh yeah I think this is one of those games that really benefits from anticipation because the player never re they, they see what's out there to kill them at all times and they can even hear things moving go away so they're constantly oh, oh. I don't know man you're making a risky move oh Okay, shit. Oh, Check no. the light, check the light. Okay, that's, that's fine. Come on, come on, I'm almost there. You're you're so close. But yeah, come I on. think this game thrives on, on anticipation. I think that is single-handedly the thing that makes it scary. Which is genius, really. It allowed very simple game mechanics to uh, give you a very fulfilling experience. Yeah. It's... it's uh, ah! Ooh. See, those are the things that I'm not sure were in the original game. I wonder. I think the developer might have patched it and added that later on. Um, oh. But I could be wrong. I could be oh, very no. wrong. I'm oh, not no. sure. Oh no! Oh no! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh boy! Oh, don't open that door! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! No! 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 Come on! Oh! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. You got through the easy night. Oh fuck. Okay. All right. We're 
We're going. Oh god. Okay. Oh. Oh. What do you want? So something else that's very interesting. See those little like cur those little kid drawings in the back. Yeah. Those have. Theoretical lore for the, the future games. And it's really interesting because if um, if those if that art was there in the original original game before any of the sequels came out, mm -hmm. then that means that the developer had started planning those sequels from the very beginning, mm -hmm. or at least started planning that lore, right? And the fact that oh, there's already oh my god, seriously. Um, but the fact that he he set it up so that he could build sequels and kind of develop this world and this kind of like hidden story, um, I think is is part of what makes this game thrive. Yeah. Because it keeps the player asking questions, you know. And that's what makes the theories about this so fascinating. Fuck you. I mean, poop you. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! 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 Oh, stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Where are you? 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 Where are you go? Which one are you looking for? The duck. The duck. There's the bunny. Where's the duck? Duck disappeared. Duck's gone. Duck cannot be accounted for. Where's the duck? Where is it? Your lights, buddy. Okay. Well, it's not next to you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Hmm. It's got to be Cam 6. 6, which is... The one that's dead. The... Uh, uh... Turn off. I think it was Cam 6, because while you were on that, you could hear noise. Ooh. At least for a little while, you could. Okay, there's uh. the bunny. Do you think the bunny is what makes the music? I think so. Okay. Interesting. Ah! Uh, still too soon, man. You're gonna burn through all your energy. The trick, I think, with this Whoa. game is that you close the door when you absolutely need to. Which is when they are right up to that door. Whoa! Might be... Okay, go! <laughs> Check the other door. Check the light on the other door. Ah! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Did you notice that when Freddy flashed on the screen it said it's me? I don't like it. It makes me wonder, like, are they looking for your character in particular? Oh, fuck you. Yeah, there's Freddy. Okay. Might be gone, maybe. Okay, good. 2 a.m., 65% battery. I don't know if you're gonna make this one, buddy. <laughs> So here's a question for you. Okay. While we have a slightly dead moment. Sure. Ooh, so good. So do you think? I don't know if you care at all about the the th theories behind this game. Um, well, but, it definitely interests me. So my question is: Do you think that people are so fascinated by them because it's so hard to play the game and really like delve into it to kind of figure things out? Oh. It's sort of like a, a personal challenge to not to like survive and, and really figure out the lore and not get scared by it. Yeah. So it makes that much more interesting for the people that have delved and kind of yeah got information. Uh huh. No, keep going. I don't know if that's true at all, but I I wonder if that has anything to do with it. You know, because I see a lot of games like Undertale that have this really robust community that talk about kind of like a lot of the secrets and kind of the hidden lore behind the <laughs> game. Or, or underneath the game, rather. Well, it's a psychological thing because the more difficult the game is, the more you, more and more you want to own that game. The more you want to make it yours, the more you want to make it yours. <laughs> um, so uh, for a game that's particularly difficult for me, it was uh, Dark Souls, uh, Resident Evil, fucking oh god, uh, um, uh, this fucking uh, guy's okay, still there. Um, Dark Souls particularly, <laughs> the world was amazing, and it was so mysterious. Good lord, is he... Okay, I don't know what that is. 
but cool. That's fine. Um, the the world was really interesting to me because it really did, not a lot was revealed to you, and it gave you a, a great sense of mystery as mm. to what the hell you were doing, why you were hunting these monsters, why you were oh good lord. Yeah, so it was, it was just hard to get that. It was hard to get that information. Game was hard. But then again, the game was the world and it and the game was presented in such an interesting way that you couldn't help but really be drawn in by oh god prospect of figuring out what the hell oh god no 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 he's not um, there yet he's not there yet only at the last moment man there you go I wonder if there's a strategy to this game to where you never check the camera and you only check the lights I, I almost, mean yeah I wonder if that would actually be better than checking the camera I wonder if the camera is actually sort of like that that trick. I don't know though, because like using the light power, it only uses one extra bar. When you have the camera active, it only uses one extra bar. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure you could get screwed over if you don't see. Like, I know they get to the point where they start running at you, like sprinting. Okay, you are not helping me with talking about that. I don't think that happens in day two or night two. I think that happens at least in night three, which I don't think we're gonna get to. Um, That's fine. Unless we play. Oh God! Unless we play this for another episode. Um, but right now we're only planning the one. So let us know if you guys enjoyed this because we'll play more. I'm sure you don't want to. Uh, all right. Well, we'll talk. <laughs> all right. Yeah. This. Is, sorry. I'm. I'm really doing everything I can to not die. Oh God! Stop it! Yeah. I. I don't know if I remember any of the other early Let's Players talking about that flickering screen. It does a good job at scaring you, though, even if you don't understand what it is. I mean, maybe that's why it's also scary. There's something moving. Yeah. You're running low on battery power, too. I know. Oh, God. Yeah, and you're only at 4 a.m., man. Shut up. Playing your cards close. 18%. I will say, if you make it through night two on your first try, I will personally be impressed. Oh. I'll be proud of you, Kuja. Okay. I don't think you're going to do it, though. Thanks, bud. <laughs> All right, so i got to pay attention to this side since Duck McFuckerson is uh, going to be coming down the hallway. Okay, I got it. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, you're at 5 a.m. You actually might be able to do this. Though, now that you're in the last hour, it's going to get the hardest. Stay on guard. Okay. I hear some music. There we go. Okay. Okay. Be he's very cautious dumb. about those those cameras right now. Yeah. I think he's still there. Yeah. Oh, come you on. You might be able to do this. I don't I know. I don't know. My this faith is tight. disappearing. My faith is disappearing. My faith is Oh god, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. Oh, he's, he's gone. gone. He's gone. Okay, okay. How do you feel about the controls of the game? The controls are really easy to understand. Um, I feel like the light switch is a little wonky. You really need... They, they, the timing it, it is weird. Turning it on is fine, turning it off is a challenge. Yeah, that's that was what I noticed, too. Oh, oh no. The door controls seem to be okay, though. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. This is it, man. Oh god. This is the final stretch. Uh, come on. 4%, I could do this. Oh, damn it. See that that is annoying. Oh god. What? Okay, all right. Oh, Be turning it off. Turning it off because yeah. it uses so much power. It might not. Th you might not think it does, but it does. I think the one thing I oh, do wonder is how oh. the AI works. Oh. Oh. Hey, Holy crap! It. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're scared of nothing. They're just robots. Animatronics. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we've tortured Cujo enough for for this uh, episode. Um, do let us know what you thought of this. Maybe we'll play a little bit more if people really like genuinely like this. Um, question of the day. Um, I think my question is, what what do you think? Um, anyone else that's played this game, what do you think that it is that makes this game as scary as it is? Do you think it's about the anticipation, or do you think that there's something more to it than that? Um, Damn it. <laughs> But we'll see you in the comment section, and until then, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
<laughs> no god. <laughs> See the little cupcake guy in the back? With the like cupcake that? in the eyes? No, it's on the right side. Oh no. Just on top of the radio, I think. Oh yeah. I think he actually is a, a prop that one of the monsters use in the second or third game. <laughs> Your butt. <laughs> oh, beautiful. 